as soon as you come out of your school and you are trying to start your college or maybe you have pursued your bachelor's, you want to start your master's. In both the cases, there's one thing which is very, very important and it has happened to me. So I'm telling you my personal experience. If you end up joining the wrong college, you will not get the right atmosphere and you will keep believing whole of your life that you were not smart enough. But the truth was the atmosphere was not electrifying enough to make sure that you are challenged constantly so that you can do more and better in your career. So today I'm going to give you top 10 precautions you should keep in mind while trying to choose your right college. Now first and foremost, which I have always given to every possible student who comes and meets me is never ever think that the fees which the college is quoting is the final fees. You have the power to negotiate, you have the right to negotiate and at times they may feel irritated but you should negotiate on the fees. And you should be vocal about asking for scholarship and if they don't have a scholarship program, you can always uh, look for some corporate social responsibility scholarships which is available on the internet. You can just Google out and you can find out. For example, Tata has a lot of corporate uh, scholarships available which you can look, look out for. Now, coming to the next aspect and that is you have to do your research perfectly before you apply. You have to apply not just in one college. Do not think that, okay, this is the college only I want to apply and I will go in only in that. No, you have to apply into 10 different colleges and or 50 or 100, whatever possible. But when you are applying, you should also be mindful that when you apply to so many colleges, they all have an application fee. It ranges from rupees 300, it can go up to 3000 rupees also, right? So that application fee itself gives a glimpse of two things. The first is how costly this college is going to be. That if the application fee itself is so costly and you're not able to afford it, then please do not apply there, okay? Now, if something is, okay, cheaper, but yeah, uh, the quality is better. So you have to look for something which meets your budget and at the same time is of high quality. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, the next thing which I have seen is the bigger the college, bigger the demands of documents. So it is always important to have the list of documents ready and get all those documents from your school or college or previous organization, wherever you have studied so that everything is in uh, proper format. Otherwise, what happens is, suppose uh, you traveled from Delhi to Bangalore and you want to take admission here and now they have demanded a, a new additional document and for that you have to go back to Delhi or ask somebody in Delhi to you know get that document it's too much of hassle right so please make sure that you have the list of documents ready and you have everything original with you as well as three or four uh, copies of photocopies or xerox of that okay the next thing is some colleges sometimes have interview process for example if we see manipal institute of regenerative medicine when you apply they will have an interview process so you have to qualify the interview or ibab in bangalore they have an interview process so if you do not qualify the interview they will not take you right so you have to also prepare for the interview and for that you have to you know go go back and find out who all have studied there or are studying there, reach out to them on LinkedIn and ask what kind of questions they may ask and, you know, prepare for that kind of questions. Now, the next precaution is sometimes they will ask you to write statement of purpose or a personal statement. Now, this basically visually gives them an idea about your future plans, right? Now, how exactly you should craft that, that's very, very important because bigger the university or college, they will ask you. For example, uh, SRM University, Nirma University, these universities will ask you for a statement of purpose, why you want to take admission there. So you have to get it crafted by somebody who is experienced, but at the same time, it should have honesty. It should not be like, okay, I want to do this, that, that. Just mention the original views which you have. Like, I want to learn this particular subject. I have a lot of curiosity for this particular topic and that is why I want to do this and while I'm doing this, I also plan to pursue these things and I'm uh, highly interested to go into industry. That is why I want to do this. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. Now, at the same time, you have to also take every promise made by the college or university with a pinch of salt. Now, why do I say that? If you believe whatever they are saying, see, it's a service. It's not a product. Right. The service can deteriorate over a period of time or may not be delivered over a period of time. And sadly, in a country, there is no mechanism where you can go to a consumer court and file a case against a university or a college. Right. Because it's not a product. So now this service deteriorates over a period of time. Suppose then you cannot you don't have a grievance mechanism. So it is very important to talk to the current students 
the alumni of this and also look for placements if did they place students or not or maybe they went for phd or abroad or research reach out to them on linkedin talk to them get some idea that way you will be in a better position now at many many times you 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 may feel directionless if you are not able to decide which two colleges are colleges are good or you confused between a bunch bunch of colleges where you got selected you can always reach out to me at shaker at biotechnica.org if you are in bangalore you're most welcome to come and meet me and we can discuss about your career plans and i can help you guide and strategize about it remember it is better to choose the right college today and get a better career tomorrow than to choose the wrong college not get placed and tomorrow cry about it and say that there is no scope in biotech most of the students choose the wrong college wrong stream and then they keep regretting that why did they choose the truth is you have to be careful you have to be cautious when you are choosing the right degree and rest will follow so you can always reach out to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org and uh, if in case you have any questions which you would like to ask you can always comment below thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in the next one and remember college makes you or breaks you all the best